Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Ayan. So today I'll be giving you updates coming from the Department of Education and some concerns and issues related to the Department of Education. At isa sa mga share ko ngayon sa inyo itong about clarifying the RPMS cycle with adjusted timeline for school year 2020-2021. But before we're going through with our updates, kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa aking channel, just hit the subscribe button for more updates about this video. Ayan. So titignan natin dito. At dahil dyan, shall we start? So, ito yung feature natin ng RPMS cycle. So, we have actually four phases. Phase 1 is yung performance planning in com and uh, commitment. The phase 2 natin is yung performance monitoring in the coaching. Phase 3 natin is the performance uh, review and evaluation. In the last uh, phase natin is the performance rewarding and development of planning. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng RPMS. Ito yung cycle ng ating RPMS. So, hindi lang po siya basta-basta because it is actually anchored with our DEPED Order number 2, Series of 2015, which is the guidelines in the implementation of this RPMS. So, ano nga ba ang scope ng policy na ito? This DEPED Order provides for the establishment and the implementation of the RPMS in all DEPED schools and offices uh, covering all officials, employees, school-based and non-based in the in all uh, department holding regular plantilla positions. So, hindi lang po siya requirement to receive our PBB or in other incentives, but it is actually anchored with our DEPED order. Ayan. Para mas maintindihan natin, so we will define uh, some of the terms here. Kung ano ba yung mga raters, so it refer to the school heads, example, principal, teacher in charge, yung ating mga assistant principal, head teachers, and or master teachers, so rate teacher portfolio, to assess teacher performance. Ayan, ito yung mga raters natin. And for our ratings naman, ito yung mga teacher 1 to 3 or yung mga master teacher 1 to 4 including us, implementers, madrasa education teachers, iPad teachers, ped teachers, senior high school teachers who submit their portfolio as evidence of their teaching performance. So, tayo po yung mga ratings kasi meron pang nakakataas natin at yun yung ating mga raters. Para mas maintindihan natin dito, ito yung ating matrix of rating rater and approving authorities in the RPMS. So, we have the principal, head teacher or master teacher, teacher and non-teaching staff, at yung ano ba yung uh, mga raters at saka yung approving authority. Para mas maintindihan, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung ating um, table to. For the rating naman or yung mga teacher, ito yung sabi ko kanina, yung head teacher, master teacher, teacher, as implementers, ayan, school-based or community learning as center-based, at saka yung mga uh, corresponding rater or observer at saka approving uh, authority. Ayan, for head teacher or the master teacher, of course, yung principal or yung school head, yung rater niya at saka yung approving is yung na uh, superintendent or the assistant superintendent pag mga large and very large schools na. For the teacher naman, kung wala namang uh, um, master teacher, yung ating principal or school head. Pero kung we have a master teacher naman or yung head teacher or assistant principal, sila yung magiging rater natin. Ayan. So, ito yung matrix natin para mas maintindihan. Para hindi po tayo at saka guided po tayo doon sa ating um, uh, cycle ng ating RPMS at saka yung ating raters at saka observers natin. Ayan. Yung performance cycle naman, the RPMS cycle shall cover the performance for one whole year all school-based personnel shall follow the performance cycle starting on April of the current year and ending in March of the following year. While the non-school-based personnel shall follow a performance cycle starting in January and ending in December. In exceptional cases and in only if the situation warrants, a one-time recalibration of the office and individual objectives shall be allowed during the mid-year review. Ayan. So, exceptional cases naman shall include instances with high-level decisions are taken into effect such as changes in strategic direction, circumstances beyond control of the rating as a natural and or man-made calamities including typhoon, earthquake, and other fortuitous events. Ayan. So, adjusted RPMS natin cycle timeline for this school year, yung sabi ko kanina, yung ating uh, four uh, stages or yung phases natin. Ayan. And then, of course, Ah, uh, dito naman siya kanina. Titingnan natin dito kasi yung first week of January 2021, yun yung ating transition doon po nag-start. Ayun, and then we have the the phase 2 natin is yung year round natin which is the coaching and the uh, mentoring. Ayun. And of course, ating uh, performance and review evaluation a week after graduation na. 
which is the third week of the June. Ayan. And of course, yung ating final IPCRF is will be on uh, July. So, ito yung ating uh, cycle. So, tatandaan po natin na uh, uh, it is adjusted na. Ayan, based doon sa pangailangan at saka sa bagong uh, timeline ng ating uh, school year. Ayan. And of course, the phase 1 natin. Okay, nagawa na natin ito which is the performance planning and commitment yung first week of January natin. Ayan, so we actually have planning for the planning. Ano yung mga activities natin? Ito yung mga discussions, ayan, yung mga forms natin, IPCRF SAT, IPCRF development plans. Ayan, yung mga output natin hanggang meron tayong IPCRF development plan based on the SAT. Ayan, so sign ng ating RPMS, yung ating school head, saka yung ating uh, teacher. Yung sample of development parts or plans or yung part A natin ito yun siya ayan, so we have the strength the development ne uh, needs, ito yung uh, na-develop nila, ayan, so i-run through lang natin, this is just a sample ayan, so how we are going to uh, uh, prepare or preparation or portfolio preparation and organization so forms natin dito is yung COT, RPMS portfolio which is from January to uh, March, ayan so mamaya, ano yung mga titignan natin Ito yung uh, performance or yung ating uh, portfolio. Ayan, sample. Yung phase 2 natin. Ayan. Yung uh, performance monitoring and coaching. Yung phase 2 natin. Ano ba yung ginagawa natin? So, we have the performance monitoring and coaching or the mid-year review and assessment natin. Ayan. And ano ba yung mga forms natin? RPMS tools, IPCRF SAT, IPCRF DP using the FPMCF or mid-year review Yung output natin, ayan, nagkaroon ng agreements sa phase 2 based on the PMCF, updated IPCRF, and the portfolio. Ayan, so ito yon yung nagaganap natin. And then, performance monitoring shall provide key inputs and objective basis for rating. It shall facilitate feedback and provide evidence and uh, performance between rating and rater. Ayan, sample of performance monitoring in coaching form. Ito yung mga dates natin, nagkaroon po yan ng... Uh, sample performance and monitoring. Ayan, performance coaching and feedback are ongoing process. These are provided by the rater and shall be sought to rate it to improve work performance and behavior. Ayan. So, mid-year review, uh, year review gives the chance to confer with the teachers for them to improve performance. Ayan, so napaka-importante yung ating mid-year. Uh, it is only for performance monitoring and coaching and the final rating of the teacher depends on the year and evaluation naman din yan sa pagkabuuan. So, ito yung ating media review form. Meron tayong MFOs, KRAs, Objectives, Timeline, at saka weighted per KRA. Ayan. So, same pa rin siya kasi ito yung suggested uh, uh, mid-year natin. Ayan. Yung portfolio preparations and organization, ito yun siya. Uh, very important. From March to June. Ayan. And then for phase 3, so ayan, this is a week after graduation or the third week of June. So ito yun, actually we are in the phase 3 na, which is the performance review and evaluation. Performance review and evaluation natin, ano yung gagawin natin dito? Year end review and assessment, evaluation of portfolio, and the computations of final rating. Ayan. So ano yung mga forms na kailanganin natin dito? The RPMS tools, IPCRF SAT, IPCRF DP during the PM, CF. So actually we are now in the Phase number 3, which is the performance review and the evaluation. So, expected output natin dito is the signed portfolio and the IPCRF with computed a final rating na. Ayan. So, kailangan. So, ito yung sample ng ating uh, portfolio. So, dapat uh, we have our output na. Ayan. So, preparation for phase 4, tools IPCRF, IPCRF TP is June 2021. Yung phase 4 naman natin, which is the performance rewarding and development planning, Ayan, so ano ba yung gagawin natin dito? Uh, ways forward and development planning. Ayan, yung mga form natin dito is yung pinaka-final IPCRF na talaga natin. Which will be on, ayan, on July na ito. And then output, the reward recogn uh, recognition in the IPCRF. Ayan. And of course, ayan. Strengths, ano ba yung mga strengths or competences with rated, demonstrated consistently in areas that need are exceed expectations. For development needs naman are competencies with rate rarely demonstrates and, and areas where the rate has room for improvement and is not meet the expectations. Ayan. So, ito yung ating uh, part 4 which is the development uh, 
plans. Ayan. So, ano yung functional plans mo dyan? Yung core behavioral competencies. So, uh, development needs. Ano ba yun siya? Then, you have the action plan, the timeline, and the resources. No? So, napaka-importante ito para malaman natin kung ano pa yung dapat i-improve yung sa sarili mo doon sa implementations ng different learning modalities for this school year. Ayan. So, same true pa rin ito last year. Meron din ganito yung ating RPMS. Ayan. For the qualitative comments, observations, recommendations. Ayan. So, dyan. And of course, the portfolio preparations and organizations for the next cycle. Ayan. So, if you have questions, ayan, you can actually comment in the comment section para masagutan natin. So, so far, ito yung uh, nagiging cycle ng ating uh, RPMS in this new normal. So, now why matapos ninyo ang inyong um, uh, portfolio at of course, just follow my YouTube account because uh, mayroon na naman tayong bagong video na i-upload regarding the implementation of the RPMS. So, thank you so much for watching. God bless everyone.